Hi, hi everyone. Welcome to uh, iireviews.com. Tonight we're going to be doing a wee uh, review on the Strathyla. My present the baby. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about it, Bill. Hold it up and I'll just zoom in a wee bit. Yeah. Hold it. Up there a wee bit, Bill. Oh, look at that fella. Probably too dark, but uh, we'll do a shoot in the bottle in a minute. Anyway, right, right. for those who don't know who we are, we are Steve and I'm Bill. Bill? We do various reviews, but tonight we're doing the Strapago Whiskey, which is uh, distilled. Bottle like I think and Keith and certainly they still think Keith, Keith which yeah. is in the the heart of the Highlands thereabouts, probably the doorstep of the Spey, you know, the Duffins. It's now discussed a wee bit from Duffin. Duffin is his class as it is basically the heart of the selling uh, industry in Scotland. Keith is in, in, in the same area, but probably 15, 20 miles away. Yeah. It's, it's, about, it's about 40. 40, 42 miles away from Aberdeen, where we are. Yeah. North East of Scotland. <coughs> it is an expensive whisky. It's, 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 um, every 27, 30 quid a bottle. And the supermarkets, you'll, you'll get it just about anywhere. Yeah, it's, it stocks a whisky, of course. Um, you won't get it anywhere, but generally, if there's so many stocks there, a few whiskies, you'll get a straw pile I would believe, quite easily. You don't have to nice. hunt for it. Yeah. Nice, say, uh, different. Shape to the bottle, isn't it? It's unusual. Yeah, quite it's unusual, that, isn't it? Yeah. We, but, so, would, what would you call that? Like, it's almost square, like a, I don't know, <laughs> like a chocolate box down here, and then just the wee neck on the top. It's clever. Yeah. Clever it's wee just bottle. Delightful. Nice delightful. green brown uh, bottle with the uh, Chivas Brothers. I noticed is obviously the distillers built. Yeah, they they own the distillery apparently. Been along there many, many moons ago, and I actually worked in the place for a while, the 30 years back. Mm -hmm. um, so, this is a 12 year old Strat Isla, it's, 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 a, it's a, a regular bottling, it isn't um, anything special. Um, that's the reason why I say if you, if you look for it, you'll, you'll get it just about anywhere. So, it's a Strat Isla 12 year old, um, I believe it's just aged in bourbon casks. Okay. It hasn't been finished in anything, other than just laying 12 years in it. In a bond somewhere, just they do this thing in a in a aged in bourbon cask, so oak barrel, aged American oak, yeah, American oak, bourbon, 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 okay. bourbon, yeah, simple as that. Interesting. So um, I listen to any, I don't believe any mess around with it. I, I could be wrong because we we'll just do with this ad hoc. Yeah, they don't do the, the real homework. That's not what we're about. We just um, sample what we've got in front of us and just try and make give you our taste yeah. flavors, what our thoughts are on it. Yeah, simple as that. If you guys have other thoughts on it, just throw them back at us and we'll uh, enjoy what your comments are on it. It's what we like. Yeah. Anyway, I think it's um, this one has been opened. I must admit, because I just that's the way I'm. I just like drinking whiskey amongst other things. I'll have a nippy from you then, Bill, please, if you don't mind. It sounds good, so I'll have a taste in a nice tulip glass here. Perfect. Yeah, the, 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 the nose aim. Yeah, the, the, the glass is designed. Um... Oh, ah. you see, there you go. It's, uh, it's designed, designed to appreciate and enjoy a whiskey. Um, you get these, these goblets that look like hand sort of things, but. Trust me guys, it ain't worth the bother. If you can get your hands in a, one of these tulip shaped glasses or a, even a wine goblet, um, a, a flute mm -hmm. you know, as opposed to a wine goblet, then that's, that's where you should go and it's a good go. You may think it's a bit nancy, but really the, the guys that do the, the nosing and tasting, that is what they use. So you can't, you can't go against the grain. These guys know what I'm talking about. So, grain? I'm talking about grain from we're talking about a malt whiskey. Uh, <laughs> sorry. That's alright. Cheers anyway, good health. Yeah. We'd like to have a wee clink of our glasses yeah. before we have a drink of anything. And a wee nose. Excuse me, we're like. No. It's a. Just kidding. It's a deep, 
dark, dark golden, I would say here. Yeah. Dark golden colour, um, almost uh, bronze in colour, I would say. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. deeper than golden, very, very deep golden, dark golden. Um, yeah, I, I think it, it, it's it's 12 years in the barrel, so it should take, should take on a bit of colour. Uh, a bit of colour, um, the, the, the bourbon, uh, they do all sorts of things with the bottles. They ship them to us and they do all sorts of things with the bottles. They, they, they fire them inside. And it depends sometimes whether they, they're fed and they leave a bit more of the burn in there. Um, it could determine perhaps a bit more in the colour. But, but I don't think they've, they've done that. No, definitely not. It hasn't got any kind of smokiness about it. So the, the bottle's been fairly clean, I think. And I think the colours came from the, the, the across the bourbon. Ah, it's okay. been in it, as yeah. opposed to the, the, the charcoal has been left in the, in the barrel after burning. Mm -hmm. Just having a wee uh, nose of it here. Yeah, Steve says it's, it's very golden. It is light in colour. It's, it's, it's light in colour, but, but not the... It's not some friskies you get that are young and they're, they're almost clear, just a little bit insipid. But, but this one it just seems to be delightfully golden. Uh, honeydew melon. Honeydew melon? Yep. Sweet, melon, melon, the, the honeydew variety. Warm up a wee bit. Yeah, get, get it warmed up a bit and get the aromas flowing a little bit. A bit of honey going on in there. Yeah. Yeah, definitely get the honey. I see where you're coming yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. Heather, Heather, honey. Um, I just got this sweetness, this sweet apple. A little, again, a little bit of an appleness. Thing. Service in the background, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. Maybe time to go, though. Once again. Okay. Okay. A wee sipper. Yeah. Excuse us, just while we have a sip and take it the next bit. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm. Explosion, big explosion in your mouth, all over your tongue, tingle, tingle, tingle in your tongue. Definitely had that going on in there, yeah. Wow. It isn't there too spready, it's, it's nice and, and it, it's, it's alive, it's as opposed to just perfume. Very sherbety. Yeah. Exactly. Just like a sherbet's going in your mouth and just, oh, just this explosion. Um, Leaving you with all of that. A finish is going on. I get a wee bit of a licorice going on in the background. Okay. Just very slightly yeah, yeah, yeah. licorice. Mm -hmm. Into licorice. Um, we, we, did you say citrus or I think I Citrus apples. Yeah. Apple citrus, um, you said, yeah. But it's the dark end of the citrus scale. Hmm. Mm. It's well, guys. I'm not sure that I can't <laughs> keep my, my nose out of it, and I can't keep my mouth away from it. It's just one of these things that this this smell goes on. It's different from the flavour. Bit of sharpness to the nose as well. Yeah. I did mention the bill just a second ago. Is that? A little bit of sharpness in the on the nose, which is, is is good. But let's have another. Mm. It's forty-three volume. Okay. It, it, it isn't too powerful. Forty-three is probably still right. Looks like cotton. Yeah. You mentioned something um, a minute ago. What, what was it you said? Licorice. No. You know. Well, I haven't finished there, but I'll let you go. Yeah. Maybe what you're saying. Uh, I mean, it's thoughts. I know thoughts. Something's going in your head, but you know, but you know what I thought on it was actually Blackpool Rock. Blackpool Rock. You know, just if you can picture that, picture just that taste of Blackpool Rock. Mhm. Mm you know what I'm saying? Maybe candy sweetness. I don't know what is candy. What I mean is. What is Blackpool Rock? I mean, obviously, there's loads of different um, 
flavours, taste, sweetness and stuff in there. And again, aniseed, I suppose, and all sorts of stuff like that, isn't it? It flavours cloves. So you get the black pool rock with the, the twist mm -hmm. All right. of, 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 of um, licorice. Ah, you know, you get it, it, yeah. But I, I was talking. Yeah, you're I probably know. quite right because um, you've got that mm. almost mintiness mm -hmm. going on in, in, in your mouth, but it creates you with as if you've just. Um, but it's worth savouring in your mouth. It, it's, yeah. it's not a neck in which no. whiskey should be neck. We are necking it a little bit, like because you know, like. But, uh, I'm smoking so, a hell of a big cigar here with it, guys, because we enjoy we enjoy our cigars and we do a little cigar reviews and just to tie the two up together. Um, uh, if anyone's interested, um, tonight I'm smoking uh, Ramon Alone's Gigantes, um, and the pairing with the Ramon Alone's Gigantes and the Strathyla 12-year-old is tickety boo. It is going very, very nicely. Uh, the, the sharpness, the little bit of sweetness, the, the aniseed, whatever it is, sherbet knee, sherbet kneeness. Ah, well, there's a new word. Get that in the dictionary. Or get it through your tongue. <laughs> it's a very good thing. Sherbet kneeness. It's, it's good. Oh, kneeness. Oh, yeah. It's nice anyway, and the, and the, and the cigar just complements it nicely. Anyway. Sorry, dead. In my fault. It's always been your fault. Nah, as well. Sometimes it's my fault. But I'm still getting this honesty, mm -hmm. licorice going on. You get this mintiness in the mouth, which is not quite minty. It just like, it's like your, your mouth and your tubes open. It's like breathing eucalyptus. I understand, yeah. Get that. It's got to be in there. It's that boring. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm getting this curiosal thing going on in the background. So curacao, oranginess, licorice, mm -hmm. mintiness, all going on in there. And Blackpool Rock. Don't right. forget the Blackpool Rock. That's my description. <laughs> it's maybe Blackpool Rock in a glass. That's what you Blackpool give you a particular brand of Blackpool Rock. If you're from Blackpool, put some Strathyla. <laughs> Try it's, it. It's stick in a glass. Try, it, try it the next time and send it up to us to iireviews.com yeah. Five minutes? Yeah. So final thoughts? I'm going to let this glass rest for a moment. And that's why you do let me glass rest and come back and analyse it in the final throws. But it's not quick enough. I'm going to put another drum and oh. give you the same old board again. So... Right, quick put pause. another drum. Quick pause, 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 pause. There you go, guys. You deserve it. I wasn't afraid. You've lost your reading up. It looks so thin. I mean, you're three. Three any longer. We tomorrow. Anyway, Strathayla is aged 12 years. The strength is 43 volume, as we, we have already said. It goes on to say in this particular book a heavy weight whiskey. Totally disagree. Maybe because the Seagrams were doing something else with it. And these guys are doing something different. But, anyways, nothing. It ain't heavyweight. On the pal palate, a hint of mint, there we go, you have talked about it, and eucalyptus. Yeah, it could be on his seat. <laughs> Lovely. Have it. Night. Night, guys. Thanks again. Rip, tip, and we're it.